me YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer and I am Sunday's host here on um, Witches of the Moon. This is our um, first week. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel. We have an, um, some amazing witches on this channel and I really think that um, it's going to go pretty far. And I, I feel very honored that they chose me to be Sunday's host and um, yeah, so we're going to get started. This week's topic was um, about our path. And how we got on it I believe it was or somewhere in those lines who are not subscribed to my channel um, I am a hereditary witch now growing up we did all the practices and everything through my whole life I mean as far back as I can, I can remember we have always practiced witchcraft it's just that that is not what it was called in my family they just it was just the way of life we didn't have a label on us you know um, it's just like kids growing up Christian. They're not labeled. They don't know anything about the label. So it's, you know, I was not labeled. So as far back as I can remember, I was doing ritual and and practicing magic and, and reading tarot cards. The tarot cards actually came in, um, I think I was 12, somewhere in there. And I was given a deck and I just started reading them immediately, which it comes from a long line of which is in my family who read they used to read just regular playing cards so um you know it comes it goes way far back you know so growing up with that lifestyle it's just the stuff that we did it was just a way of life it's how we lived i mean if someone needed a job there was stuff that we did to make us find a job if there was um someone was sick we'd do stuff just to help us from being sick and you know it was you know, the oils, the herbs, all that we, you know, I just figured since we were so poor, that's why we did all that stuff ourselves. But it was practicing, you know, witchcraft. That's what we did. We were witches, and we are witches, all of them. Um, a lot of them would never claim it, which is kind of sad. Uh, it was later on in life, whenever after I went down a dark path and came back to reality, whenever I discovered that. You know hey there's a name for what we do you know and I had to find my way to figure out what it was started reading I started studying and um, and I realized damn I am a witch but it's not like what we watched on TV growing up you know which was it's you know it's kind of sad how they portrayed portrayed witches growing up watching TV you know it's nothing like that so that's whenever I realized okay so hey I am a witch I'm not just crazy we didn't just do this stuff we didn't always have spirits coming and going from our house you know we didn't just do this ritual and the next day you know you got a job it was magic that's what we were doing and um, not always good magic I'm not gonna get into some of the magics that my grandparents did um, it's how they supported their kids you know that just through readings they did other stuff um, they would do things to help people keep their husband um, bash away women that were messing with their men stuff like that um, I don't meddle in that kind of stuff nowadays but that's you know that's just the way it was people paid to have all that done with my grandmother and she's actually my great grandmother that I can remember back and that's how she raised up her kids whenever I started studying there for a minute maybe two weeks tops I thought I was Wiccan and then you know just the more I was reading I realized I'm closer to being pagan than anything and if I have to be referred to something then it would be pagan but I'm actually just a witch I just do what I want to do how I want to do it and that's just the way it is I'm the, I'm the type of practitioner that um, I do it how I want to do it. It's my practice and I do with it what I please. I respect the deities, I respect the energies, I respect the spirits and in return I am blessed with being able to practice the way I want to. In my house uh, we are very different. I am the only practicing witch in my home. My husband is Catholic um, and he's accepting the way I am. If he wasn't accepting he wouldn't be here but um, and I respect his practice. You know he worships the Virgin Mary and that's great for him it works for him my middle son is the closest to Christian in the house that we have and um because he does believe in Jesus Christ and all that good stuff and I respect that you know I've actually read the Bible because I've been through a similar stage and 
and anytime he has questions I am able to answer I just refer to it this is what the Bible says it's not my belief he knows it's not my belief but it is his and I respect it um, my oldest he's just kind of floats around he just you know he knows there's a higher power he just doesn't worship any and he's the one who's always been able to talk to the dead and help cross people over and he did, comes with me to do house cleansings because when there's children spirits involved I like to take him because they flock to him and that's been his ability since birth and my youngest son he's just kind of you know he likes to pray with his dad he likes to pray with his brother which is different prayers and he likes to do things with me you know I let my children choose their own path um, do I practice in front of them do I teach them my ways I do I just don't push it down their throat I mean I'm a witch and they know I'm a witch and I don't hide it my husband knows I'm a witch and he don't hide it it's just like his his beliefs he um, celebrates things with my kids that are with his beliefs and we just don't push it down their throat it's at the end of the day it's their choice their path so that's what they have to decide to do so that's how it works in my house and that's where it came from I've never known anything else but being a witch and when I did go dark which you know on my channel I have videos on you know that kind of stuff if you're not subscribed to me I'll put my link in the down bar and I did go dark and then for a minute I tried to um, be saved saved <laughs> and that didn't work out for me at all and I just went right back to the path that I've always known that I was raised in that I was born into and that is being a witch who enjoys it and um, I'm not ashamed of it I'm very loud and proud I'm not in the closet by no means at all um, I got like bumper stickers all over the back of my truck I wear my pentacle proud up to the school everybody knows who knows me knows I'm a witch and some people accept it, some people don't. Some people still throw in their Bible at me, and some people don't. I'm not disrespectful about it. You know, I respect everybody's beliefs. Um, sometimes i got to put my foot down. But that doesn't happen very often anymore. And I think it's just kind of the energies that, that come off of me. It, it kind of makes it clear that, you know, shut up. You know, I don't know. But anyways, I hope this made some sense to you. Um, I recorded this early because... My son's graduating this weekend, and I'm going to be very busy. So I hope this was what you um, asked for, Mr. J. And um, thank you for allowing me to be on Sunday. And um, I look forward to next week. All right, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will put the link to my channel in the down bar. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next one. And as always, blessed be.